Good evening, or good afternoon, I should say, everybody. Good afternoon, good afternoon for the ones that are off and celebrating the holiday, such as myself. So, thank you for coming over and checking on me, because I'm going to be spinning these videos like nobody. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be recording, recording, recording my behind off, and trying to clean up the house for the holidays, and of course, the clean up after the holidays. But, I am free, honey. I am free doing my second job full time for the holidays, okay? So, you catch videos. At least two of them coming out each day because I'm going to pre-record and just set the time of when I want it to come out on the air, okay? That's just how we're going to be doing it over here at the Family Affair. Deb Chanel's 40th world, and I am Deb Chanel. So, happy holidays to everyone. Happy holidays. And if your holiday don't start until Friday... You know, I salute you. Get into it. Get that resting thing going on. Don't stress out about what presents you hadn't got, what food you hadn't got. You know, do it in moderation. Go and get what you can and let the other stuff just fly away, okay? Just get the good stuff because I'm catering all my stuff. Uh, my mom may try to get me to help her cook something here and there, but ain't nothing big because most of my meats and my side dishes, they coming from my uh, favorite restaurants, okay? I'm going to have a little Chinese rice here. I'm going to have some hot wings and some... Um, probably not hot wings, but teriyaki wings. So I probably might have hot wings mixed in. But it's going to be a variety of wings, my favorite, which is lemon pepper and teriyaki. And then we'll probably have some mild hot wings, something like that, to that effect. And I think my mom's going to make a famous chicken dressing. I know she ain't making potato salad because she had potato salad for Thanksgiving. And we're going to make this favorite punch. And, of course, you know we're going to have the desserts on the last. And I'm just going to be eating food, sitting down, eating, probably drinking me some Sigrams Cooler here and there, and just chilling. And definitely, definitely, because I lied, y'all. I lied. I said I was going to be exercising and stuff. And I started for a couple of days, and I just dropped off. <laughs> dropped off like it was a bad habit to exercise and give my body a rejuvenation of just feeling good on a day-to-day -day basis and being able to breathe without labor breathing you know i gotta walk up 13 steps every time i come home come home to you know get upstairs and then um to go down them stairs so if i ever had another chance to get another home built from the ground up okay Nobody's lived in it but me. My definitely master bedroom would be on the first floor. Let me tell you, child. Or I'll probably just get a whole ranch. You know what I'm saying? Because these upstairs and downstairs or people that got tri-level homes, they cute. And they, you know, they have their own presence to them, you know, appeal. But when you try to have to come up down, down them stairs and you getting up in age, chaply, my hips be tired, my knees be tired. Oh, child, I be tired, beard. <laughs> And my mom be like, what you breathe so hard for? I was a child, them steps, honey, them steps. So I had to sit down and think about, was I ready to take them steps coming upstairs? So I just wanted to sit my little behind down there a little while longer. <laughs> child i tell you but that's just my life that's how i'm living it so i'm gonna try to do better i ain't gonna make no promises but i really do need to slim down i'm thinking about getting a breast reduction because my doctors definitely said i have the um winning approval from them because my breast is just too big i mean even when i had lost weight they still were heavier or bigger than what i really wanted so we might look into that next year but I don't know, Chuck. I don't want no silicone in my breast to be able to uh, support them up if they take out a lot of the fat or whatnot and decrease. So I want to be at a cup A. I don't know. People say, no, you don't want to be that smart. Yes, I do, because I ain't never, ever been a cup A. I think I was a cup A when I was, hmm, probably 10 years old, because I was in a B cup at 12. So I always had, like, the boobies there. No problems with that, but child mm -mm. i always want a size a i want to be like a sports fanatic person running now where you don't even have to wear a bra you know what i'm saying just have your boobies out there but they ain't you know they're standing up in attention of course but you know what i'm saying they ain't really out there like dolly parton breasts i'm just it just hurts my back and i have back problems and stuff back spasms so child 
But anyway, to say that, to say this, let's get on into this um, trending social media topic, okay? And remember to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel as well as share, like my videos. But I love it when you subscribe, 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 and share, share, share. Subscribe, 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 and share, share, share. But anyway, enough of that antic, okay? But uh, y'all know where I'm going with it and what I want y'all to do, okay? It's a family affair. I help you, you help me, <laughs> okay? This is, you know, you know how we go. You know how we do. All right? But anyway, girl, I got uh, from the table for eating breakfast and then ran across this little story on Merit the Madison. I'm like, good Lord, what is going on with these women? They more interactive than they was during a season showing us from every Sunday coming on, okay, from season six seven they lit and ready to take and go ablaze on their reunion i'm just here to tell you how did that fox so get in there that was supposed to be in there but anyway i now am doing some little stories on them but i don't know how i got that picture in there i tell you i'm still messing and tweaking with this new software editing program but it's just you with it yeah but anyway child the married the medicine women over there they fighting in their reunion already and i'm i'm really thinking i thought that jack and simone were like tight they were sisters you know peace and all that sisters of love unity but honey it seemed like dr uh, Hevelin done wedged in between them, and the only chili Jackie got now is Dr. Hevelin, and that's a sad case to be to have her only one on your team trying to shout you out because Dr. Hevelin is a mess within herself. And I'm still trying to get over there and look at some of her videos from here to there, but sometimes she's get on my nerve even in her own videos. But I saw okay, I'm gonna try to get her, you know, second look or third look and see what I can pull out of and do commentary on her behind because. She could be doing too much. Too, too, too much. But anyway, getting back to the scenario that I saw on my media feed. Honey, they gave us little clips and, and parts of the trailer that's coming up for the first and second, third reunion. They got them up in two separate parts because it seemed like on the 29th of December, they're going to play part one and part two. So they're going to come on at 8 and I guess ended up at 10, and then they're going to come back, I think, January 6th or 9th, or, I believe, and they're going to show part three. But her new women cutting up, honey. Uh, Dr. Hevelin calling Buffy a fat ass, and Buffy claiming Dr. Uh, Hevelin got dentures in her mouth, and Ooh, child, this Dr. Simone getting on uh, Dr. Jackie. And Dr. Jack is saying, honey, when you reach new levels, your friendship try, uh, gets strained. So, so she was saying, it was cute how she said new levels, new struggles, or something like that. But she was uh, putting it at Dr. Simone. So I'm like, what? They don't toe up each other? Uh, uh, Dr. Simone feel like she just been getting on Buffy and Quad. I mean, like Buffy and Mariah too much. And, you know, they like each other. So it is what it is. And I kind of like Buffy, too. But I'm so glad I got to do a story on her as well. She's done succumb to the knowledge that she just need to get a surrogate and have her, her family if she don't want to adopt so i was like okay now we won't have to hear about when season eight come if buffy get on season eight or they have a season eight of married to medicine which i'm pretty sure they work but their numbers been pretty well this year i don't want to hear nothing about buffy time of she can't have no children and this that now okay we got it we good you know we good on all that information that we need you to do somebody we need you to be proactive go on out there and do somebody so she did somebody so she was listening to me and other people you know putting our little two cents in like okay you can't have the type of uh conception you want to have traditionally have then don't let that stop you honey it's modern medicine out there we can do several little things here and there we can take your egg we take your husband's sperm and make our little baby still yours you're just gonna have somebody cooking it uh in their oven versus you cooking it in your oven same thing okay so i'm glad she's doing something with that she's put it out on social media i forgot what outlet and i'll let you know when i do that video but she's going forward and getting her surrogate and having the family she always wanted to have Ooh, praise the lord thank you jesus but anyway moving on for her okay but let's go on back to this little tidal wave or a tornado going on over there with dr simone and dr jack i never thought i'd see today the that they'll be coming up being at odds with each other but hmm hmm okay but people magazine brought it out uh they titled the article on behalf of david quinn he's a commentary over there or not a commentary but a columnist or 
commentator, oh, we call it commentator, or uh, we call that a uh, correspondent for people.com. And he wrote up a story on Married to Medicine's uh, co stars titling, titling it Married to Medicine Season 7 Reunion Trailer Tensions Hits. Fever's pitch as drama erupts backstage. Okay, that's what he said. He's a season seven reunion trailer. Tensions hits fever pitch as drama erupts backstage. I'm like, what the hell did that about? Because it sounded good. I just like how he spun it off for his his article title. But yes, that was David Quinn. He put it out on the 19th, which is today at 10, 10 a.m. I don't know what uh, time zone it was, but it was good to me because I called it and I said, I'm going to do it, okay? But just to give y'all a sneak preview of the audio, let's play it right now. And then we'll get on into the store and see what's going on. Okay, here we go. Why are you in here with Jackie? Well, things have changed. I think with new levels come new devils. You are a grudge hold, correct? There's been a lot of lies told. I don't want to talk about you during Ramadan. You called me a whore. Hey, y'all know what you mean? You coming from me? Come on, let's tell us. Well, you lying through them benches. You lying through them fat ass. You just call me a fat? What's more important? Credit score or dick size. Oh, God. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? Honey, Dr. Uh, Heavenly called Buffy fat ass. And Andy was like surprised. Like, did you just call her fat ass? Did I just hear you say that? That ain't very letter like uh, Dr. Heavenly. You need to apologize. That's just me. That wasn't Andy. He was just shocked as hell. He just said, did you just call her fat? <laughs> A fat ass at that. Okay. And Dr. Heavenly just like hold up her hand like, yeah, that's what I said. You want me to say it again? Did you not hear? I ain't stutter. Okay. But then it was like uh, Dr. Jack had said something when it comes to. Let's go back and see what she said. Let, let me see if I can play it back. Good child. Or maybe we just have to let it go again. Odell Beckham. Yes, you did, Dr. Heaven. Oh, oh, Jesus. Right. We haven't been friends in and six we years. Will be. I'm so done with it. I'm done with it too, so be quiet. Ooh, that Aiden getting on quiet. Woo, that, that, uh, that Simone said, ooh, child, Damon's always drunk, and he's been out drunk with uh her husband, Cecil. Oh, she getting in Dr. Heaven. Hey. Yes, y'all. But let's go back. I couldn't stop it, but let's go back and see what um the part I was trying to get y'all to understand. Okay, that way, where it comes with new levels come new devils. That's exactly what Dr. Jack was saying about Simone, and she told Simone that she was a grudge holder. I'm like what? And uh, and Doctor, well, Doctor Jack said Simone was a grudge holder, and um, Doctor Simone said, "Yes, I am." I'm like what? But Hannah, when Doctor Jack is talking about when it comes to new levels, there come new devils, and she trying to put it out on Doctor Simone. Like, I need to know what the, what's that about altogether. But it's it's ooh, let me just listen, let y'all listen to it one more time, and then we'll go into the article, giving y'all my spin. Cause I don't know why I can't like stop it and start it or go back a little bit. But it just is What's what it is. Credit score or dick size? Oh God! <laughs> the women slide. Smart man. Who's your celebrity hall pass? Odell Beckham. Oh, oh wow! I don't like him for you. I'm talking about a, a night, a fun night. And I like just turn women out. Dr. Simone called Dr. Heavenly a liar, ugly ass liar. And she was saying that 
Ooh, Dr. The, the Damon be getting drunk, honey. He be getting blitz and uh, sis be right there with her. <laughs> so, I see, I, I like Simone. Because she be like, she just be just telling how it is. Now, she was just a little bit little rough on the edge. But if I had to hang out with her or Dr. Jack, I'd hang out with Dr. Simone all day, every day. But, honey, I don't know the tides of turning. Then Dr. Helen still in her revenge stage. Like, anybody come for Dr. Jack or they coming for her? I'm like... Dr. Jackie didn't even like you when you first came on the show, Dr. Heaven. She just thought you were a dentist. You weren't in their realm of medicine, even though it is a part of medicine. And, honey, you need somebody with good hands when you have a toothache. Because, whoo, child, you don't need no medicine, Dr. Dan. They might can write you a script. But you need somebody to go in there and tame that, that pulse in that tooth, honey. Destroy it, meaning destroy the pulse so the pain can go away. Or... Fix it, fix it. But they're gonna take the life of the the tooth anyway. Where you're you're not gonna have any feeling if it is a a tooth that has a real bad cavity and it needs to be worked on or restored or whatnot. You ain't gonna have no pulse in it, so it's dead anyway. You need to take it out or put a crown on it and move on with your life. But anyway, let's hit that those clips one more time. Then I go into it. Tearing up the men and the women, honey. But Dr. Simone is definitely going in on Dr. Uh, heavily about her husband being such a saint, this, that, and third. Because they men are kind of quiet. And most silent drunks or uh, of the cover drunks, they do be quiet. They want everybody to shut up so they can get their peace. Because he was turning them shots up when they was in uh, Cabo St. Lucas, Mexico. I did notice. And Dr. Heavenly show was trying to tell Jackie to stop all that, tell him to stop all that drinking before she come over there. So he must be a silent drunk. You know what I'm saying? Like Woodrow on good time. <laughs> he ain't making no waves, but nobody just give him his drink and he going on to sleep, okay? But I'm like, okay, but the deal with Dr. Heavenly on a daily basis, you got to be on some child. Because ain't nowhere in the world you can have peace of mind with that woman going around there running her mouth the way she run her mouth and how she nitpick. Oh, and how she's trying to be like a takeover spirit. She just got to have her hands in everything and say everything. So... Oh, honey, I understand, Damien. I understand, but don't get uh kind of caught up, and you have that as a an addiction because you don't want to be on that road to recovery, baby. So drink in solidarity, but you know monitor what you're doing, okay? Because it changes your behavior for the bad or not for the good, for the negative. Then you don't need to be partaking in that particular activity, okay? That's the word to the wise. Going on back to the uh actual. Uh, article that's being written up by David Quinn or Dave Quinn for people.com. He goes on to say viewers might need to see a doctor after watching the three part Merit to Medicine season seven reunion. People is exclusively de um, debuting, uh, debuting the trailer and judging from the dramatic clip, it's going to be one tense battle after the next. In fact, emotions seem to be running so high between Dr. Jackie. And Dr. Simone, Dr. Heavenly Kynes, Toya Bush Harris, Quad Webb, Dr. Contessa McCaff, Mariah, and new friend Buffy perceive that a war words erupts backstage while the women aren't even sitting with host Andy Cohen. So, see, they showing out before they even get to the stage, the big stage, okay? Um, you're the biggest, ugliest liar here, Dr. Simone screams at one point. And I did let y'all hear that audio clip. Hopefully, y'all were uh, able to 
hear with the uh, audio that that was Dr. Simone that was speaking and she was talking to Dr. Heavenly if you didn't get it. Okay, and then it says, lying seems to be a major theme amongst the group and one exchange per sale, meaning Buffy, calls out Dr. Heavenly for her alleged untruths. You're lying through them dentures, per sale says. Woo, child. And then Dr. Heavenly uh, forces back to her verbally. You're lying through that fat ass. Woo! Dr. Heavenly fires back. I'm like, Dr. Heavenly, don't let us play the footage when you look to like Shamu the way and I can't talk because I'm up there too, all right? But at least I ain't throwing fat jokes at somebody else, okay? But honey, just because you slim and you doing all these other little things to keep your weight down or whatnot, don't be trying to tell no fat jokes. Don't be trying to get on folk when they ain't coming for you. But okay, she says she, you you were wearing dentures. I don't know. Uh, they look nice if they are dentures or veneers or whatever you call them. But I'm like, okay, Buffy is on the head side, so I guess it is um, somewhat evenly to say that she might be speaking truth that you're wearing dentures. <laughs> So I give y'all both a point, okay? I give y'all both a point and keep battling it on, okay? That was my sidebar, not in this man's article, but going back to his article, it says part one kicks off on December 29th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone with the unexpected news that Dr. Jack and Dr. Simone's longtime friendship has taken an unexpected turn. Priscilla also shares the happy news that she and her husband are planning on expanding their family via surrogacy after six devastating miscarriages. But her joy is short-lived as her season-long riff with Dr. Jackie comes to a head. In part two, which airs on December 29th, same night at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone, things get hot when Dr. Simone and Dr. Heavenly feud erupts. Webb also learns a shocking revelation about her ex, Dr. Greg Lunsford, before the husband hits the stage for a candid conversation with Andy Cohen. Then in part three, airing January 5th, 2020, at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the couples come together to hash out their differences. Dr. Damon comes clean about what happened at the Mexican Gentleman's Club that when they were over there in St. Lucas, Mexico. And the backstage battle blows up, fueled by an argument between Dr. Simone and Dr. Heavenly. And then it says viewers will also get a glimpse of Meredith Medicine, Los Angeles, which will return in Bravo in spring 2020. Merit to Medicine Season 7 finale airs Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern Time Eastern Standard Time Zone on Bravo. Now you know we're gonna be there, Kahana, baby. Like I said, they ain't bring this punch, this tea, this vodka, this juice out throughout the whole episode of seven uh, season seven. Uh, I don't know where they hid it from. I mean, only thing I knew, because I was watching it too, the only real episodes that were like erupting in negativity was Dr. Contessa was on her husband, Scott, because he didn't support her fully of her ideal of going to, is it Alabama, Tennessee? I keep forgetting. It's one of them southern states. Uh, she was going out there uh, to seek out doing another program in her medical field or whatnot um and just that whole mess with them going on going on and scott you know using the kids as a buffer between them to have them on his side like you know you want your mom at home i know you want your mom at home we, we need to gang up on her but you know, like i said he did a wonderful job he admitted to what he was doing and he told her to get her behind back to school and he loved her he respected her he's proud of her and that that did all the good for her self-esteem and that they're gonna go forth and be great ideas okay but moving on from there and the only other thing Dr. Heavenly just constantly, for some reason, think it's her a tour of duty to take up for Dr. Jackie every chance she gets. Anybody come at Dr. Jackie, say something wrong about that, Dr. Jackie, trying to throw shade at Dr. Jackie, honey. Dr. Heavenly is like a pet bull. She on them and won't let go of them until they say uncle or aunt or whatever the secret word is for them to apologize. And of course, Dr. Simone ain't here for it, honey. Because she, she running up. I ain't saying she kissing Jackie's ass because she do kind of put Jackie in her, her spot or her place when she's wrong. But it just seemed like Dr. Heavenly is just so over her, she can't even get a, a, a word or a hug in to her best friend. Or it seemed like they were best friends from the exception of um, Marital Medicine to where we are now with Season 7. 
Of course, you got Quad and uh, Mariah. They ain't gonna never be friends. And this, that, and third. And Aiden, I'm pretty much got tired of Quad talking, you know, slick out her mouth. And I'm like, Aiden, see, that wasn't even really for you to say anything. Because ain't no man up there trying to take up for Quad, trying to get her back. Because you trying to come at her. I mean, Mariah already trying to come for it. We don't need no double tag team, okay? Because then I might have to come out the bushes and put you to sleep myself, okay? Literally, all right? But uh, I don't like a man coming out the woman period because y'all ain't in the same lane y'all it, it half the time it's banter whether it's light or great between women men ain't got nothing to do with it you know take it up with another man take it up with Claude's boyfriend or somebody all right but don't take it up with Claude. if she want to speak her mind she want to cuss out your wife that's fine your wife got a mouth and it's heavy and it's ready to be lot loaded and she can spray people too but that's between women not you know you coming out saying anything okay because dr dwight or i think that's david white or right or oh shit i don't know is it david somebody david purcell i'm sorry Buffy's husband, he's very respectful of the women. He don't quite know them. He ain't in their culture. He ain't un trying to understand their culture, whatever. But he just t wired tight like that. He just giving respect to everybody. So his parents raised him right. Very much so raised him right. I only speak when you're spoken to. And if that somebody needs some clarification, you need to get in there and get them a little counseling one-on-one -on -one here and there. He there for it. He there for it, okay? But it just is what it is. But um, he does try to blend in real well, and he does hold his peace. But I can't wait for him to start erupting around now. Uh, but if Dr. Oh. Heavenly said something about he got mad because David was saying uh there's nothing wrong with wearing jeans and this then and third and dr helen was talking about you know that's white privilege they could do that but then you know a black man can't come in there with no jeans and people or his colleagues take him serious i mean it may have some truth to it here and there but we got to break that as a, a culture we have to break it down to them if they're gonna do like they said when you when you're wrong you do as the romans do hey if everybody the majority whether they white uh asian or whatever they coming in jeans then damon shouldn't have no right but float in there with jeans too and if it's gonna be a big issue say okay well i'm doing what my colleagues do they in jeans they in a little throwback shirt or whatever why can't i and be respected the same i ain't coming here with no suit and tie or my or white coat and they ain't doing it hey uh, if you're gonna respect them gonna respect me too hell i got probably got more education and more uh, experience than half i'm put together okay that's how i would be damn got to stand up for himself he don't need dr hamlin uh the world standing up for him he can make a, a voice he has a voice he can speak it out so that was pretty much it y'all but I'm like good god almighty i said y'all did all of this on a reunion that's three poet and uh phase one and two is going to be shown on december 29th okay uh and then y'all gonna have something new. I think it's in January 5th, they said. <sighs> Does it end up the reunion for part three? And I'm like, girl, y'all should have been giving all this smoke and this fire um, during the season of season seven. Y'all gonna wait till the reunion for season seven? God, I'm like, man, please. But anyway, it just is what it is. I do like Cecil and Simone. I'm glad they uh, got it together. But I, it was really Simone tripping and carrying on and doing this, that, and the third probably following dr jackie down the, the bad road because she's messed up there with uh what name curtis because curtis don't know what to do with himself he's so old tired and through he want jackie to be retired through and old with him you know i'm like nah go pick you another job go teach her the elementary keep yourself together and focus don't be worried about what your wife doing she conquering and and, and seizing and, and taking everything because she's unhappy because she don't have a kid because lord knows if she had a kid or children she wouldn't be doing half the stuff she doing or she'll be doing it at a very very slow pace but she's feeling that void because she don't have any children that's why she's doing in and everything to keep herself busy because she know that one moment that one isolated isolated time in space uh space or in her space if she feels kids or she hears kids she gonna blow up she gonna disintegrate because that is her nucleus that she wants and she cannot have so she's not centered she's just doing everything to keep herself 
and her mind occupied on what she really wants. I do know it's almost time, okay? But that's all I have for this video, y'all. I just wanted to just put it out there. And I'll be coming back here and there throughout the holiday season. Bringing y'all salacious stories. Because they don't stop. And I won't stop. And we won't stop. Okay? But y'all be good. Y'all remember to subscribe, su subscribe, subscribe to my video channel. And share my videos. Yes, and like in between all that. Like, share, and subscribe. That's what we're into for 2020 as well as 2019. Okay? But y'all be blessed. I'll see y'all next video.